welcome to another gauge demo from fipgages.com. Today I'm going to show you my A320 gauge. Okay, so let's start off with the buttons. Now you'll see the little blue LED at the top left hand corner that indicates the nearest location of the menu control. In this case it's the S1 button. So when you press the S1 button the mini menu, menu activates and the first option is version and info. The right dial enables you to move through the menu options and the left dial will change the selected menu option. So move the left dial and you can turn the version information on and off. And the select next dial with the right button, right dial, and you've now got glass reflections. Turn in the left dial will turn the glass reflections on and off. This is optional. Um, this will turn the glass reflections on and off for all dials that have that function. Let's leave that on and turn the right dial again to background color. We have a choice of selecting black or blue, so turn the left dial turns the color background black and blue. Again, this will change the color of all gauges that have the same black blue color change function. Turn the right dial again and we now have the option for brightness control and the left dial will adjust the brightness of the FIP. This only works on physical FIPs, not on virtual FIPs. Okay, so we turn the menu off with S1 and the other buttons other than S6 aren't used and S6 is just a shortcut to turning the background colors black and blue. Now during main gauge operation and flight the left dial enables you to change the IAS and then the right dial changes the barometer Q and H values so you can set your ground height. So I'm a little bit high off the ground at the moment. There you go. Um, it has all the standard functions of the A320 gauge. Um, you've got the ILS display down here in the corner, so you can switch your frequencies and that will change here on the screen. Your Q and H values are shown here. Um, you've also got your heading shown here. There's your heading bug. You've got your CRS here on the compass. You've also got your ILS indicators here. So as you switch to an ILS frequency, your ILS will then switch on. You've also got flight director as well. You've got your roll and slip guides and your standard attitude gauge, as well as your uh, speed, altitude, and vertical speed as well. Okay, well, I thought I'd keep this nice and short. There isn't a massive number of fancy features with this particular gauge. It just does what it says on the tin. So if I'm missing anything critical on this gauge, please let me know, and I'll try and add it for you. But I hope you find this uh, very useful. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and don't forget to come back and check out some of our other gauges. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.